That'll be the show with a good one coming at you. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set on the hill for the Reds, Hunter Green. Well, it's a three-pitch mix in the repertoire for this starter. He's going to have to command all three if he's going to have success on the hill today. And yeah, the batter now, O'Neill Cruz. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And we're underway here this afternoon. The 1 0. The shortstop takes a ball. A little bit high, maybe. And it's 3 0. Third pitch of this ball game. That one right in the zone. But it's called for a ball, man. That's frustrating. But you've got to stay focused. Keep making that pitch. You're going to get the strike call. The 3 1. Ground ball right side. Oh, and a nasty hop eats him up. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Brian Reynolds here. That misses. And that's ball one. Cruz gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. And misses inside. And a pitch. Here goes the runner. That one lifted to left. Under it. Calls it in. And there's one away. We take a check of the Pirates lineup put together by manager Derek Shelton. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away, jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Key Brian Hayes, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Man at first, one away. And there's a ball. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. And that is in for a strike. It's two and two. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Two, two now. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. And now the Reds will get their first opportunity. No score. Back here at Great American Ballpark. And today's starter, Mitch Keller. What do you have on him, Siggy? 
Well, this guy featuring that straight four seam fastball, but off of it throws the cutter, and really he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the four seam fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat. Not always going to see the swings and misses, but if you can somehow get weaker contact, you have a chance to collect some outs. Now, it's going to look the same until the very last second, so hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess right. Matt McClain stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Keller, a former All-Star, he features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a sinker, a slurve, and he occasionally uses a curve. Right-hander kicks, deals, and there's a foul ball. The pitch. That one ripped. That's down. One hops off the wall. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he's got a leadoff triple. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap. Right out of the box. I love how he was hustling. And I think he knew he was going for three as soon as it touched down. Next for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. Right down the chute, and it's 0-1. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Runner at third here, nobody out. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. The shortstop takes a ball. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield. And he chases that one. Huge strikeout there. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Spencer Steer, batting with one down, takes a strike. And the pitch is in for a strike. And it's 0-2. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Had him out front for strike three. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step off and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two-out at bat coming up now. Jamer Candelario stands in now, looks at that one inside. Two outs. That catches the corner. Next offering is down low. That one hooked foul. Two outs with a runner at third. There's a swing and a drive. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And they'll score first. It's one zip. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Picks himself up an RBI. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. So two down. Now it's the Reds DH. Jonathan India. That pitch in for a strike. 0 and 1. Runner at second. Two down. It's 
Swung on, belted. Reynolds ranging back. Just missed it. Run scoring double here for the Reds. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Second inning set to go. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. The wind and the pitch. McCutcheon starting as the designated hitter. Batting in the cleanup spot. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Out towards right center. That's well struck. In one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Up next for the Pirates, Jack Sawinski. That immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. McCutcheon leads off second with nobody out. There's the strike up high, and it's 0-2. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up, hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder up there. And now one and two. It's a good take. Swing and a miss struck him out. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? Henry Davis, the next pirate to hit. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. And that clips the inside corner. Man at second. Had a good eye there. The pitch. And another ball. High fly ball out towards left field. Steer going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And now it's Rowdy Telez. That clips a corner. Tying run in scoring position here at the top of the second. The next pitch misses, and yeah, the count one and two. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And a ball in two strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. That's down and in. Michael A. Taylor waits on deck for Pittsburgh. Two outs and one in scored position. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going.
Man on second, two down. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Michael A. Taylor, the next pirate to hit. There's a line drive to left field. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And that's the third out. Pirates strand a couple. They're down 1 0. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the right fielder, Jake Fraley. And a pitch. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Here comes the 0-1. Next offering is outside. There's a strike. Left-hand batter waits. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Christian Encarnacion Strand will hit next. And there's a strike. One out, base is empty. And a swing and a miss there. I think he was sitting off speed there. Yeah, that's a little bit high. One and two to count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pitch. And another ball. That's a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Look, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. One down. In now for the Reds, Tyler Stevenson. And that's downstairs and outside. Swings through that one out in front that time. And Cardacion Strand stands at first with one out. Next pitch is downstairs. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. At the belt and fires. And another ball. Swings and misses, struck him out. Will Benson digs in now. Fastball for a strike. Two outs. Pitch misses there. Now one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, 
They'll look for something down in the zone. But a swing and a miss. That retires the side. And that'll do it. So one left for Cincinnati. But they hold a 1-0 lead. All set for the start of the inning. And stepping in is the speedy Leover Peguero. Here comes the pitch. There's the strike. Slapped foul. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Well, take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Pitches in there, and that's strike one. Well, here's a deal not everyone remembers. Cruz was actually signed by the Dodgers in 2015, but Los Angeles dealt him to Pittsburgh in 2017 for Tony Watson. That's a rare trade the Dodgers just might regret. Up the middle, now a jump throw. And that quickly, two away. Brian Reynolds, the next pirate to hit. Fly to left his first time. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And the Pirates go one, two, three. As we go to the last of the third. Now here's the Reds leadoff man. Matt McClain. Keller back to work. That one hammered but pulled foul. The wind of the pitch. Now a check swing but he held up. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. A couple of hits in a row for him here. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Ellie De La Cruz went down on strikes his first time through. Right through there for a strike. Check on the runner, and he's back in safely. On the ground the third might be two there's one not in time at first it's a fielder's choice now back, left fielder, Spencer. Spencer steer the next to hit for the Reds rudder takes off ball outside throw to second he's safe Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Righty delivers. And another ball. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Man at second. And yeah, that's a little bit high.
And there's the automatic. Lace down the line, and now maybe extra bases. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2 nothing, And he's got a double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Man at second with one away. Now batting Jamer Candelario. Doubled in his first A.B. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Out to short, Cruz throws the first in time. Number six, designated hitter. Jonathan India at the plate. He's over one. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field around third. He scores, it's three zip. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. Next to hit, Jake Fraley fouled off to the right. Two outs and a foul ball. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Swing and a ball popped up. Paguero under it. Nabs it. That is the inning. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. On to inning number four. It's the Reds three and the Pirates nothing. On to the fourth, now batting key Brian Hayes. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And here it comes. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the All Star game and have a Gold Glove, if not a Platinum Glove. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon doubled his first time up. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. And he deals. Got him to chase one upstairs there. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Kicks and fires. 
the Reds leading by three top half of inning number four next one misses and a count two and one just missed here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense three one count be ready to turn on a fastball three one and he couldn't come up with it one of the things about that two out walk the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead so a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best that is if you are the offensive side of it Hit on the ground to Candelario they get the force that's the third out so one left for Pittsburgh still down three nothing back here in Cincinnati and now the first baseman Christian Encarnacion Strand The wind of the pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Well, these Reds showing great discipline at the plate, and patience right, definitely one. seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Very high with that one. And a count to an one. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. And the righty deals. That one's in there. Now three and two. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. So man aboard next for Cincinnati Tyler Stevenson he struck out swinging at his first at bat here's a swing and a drive left field and he knew it they must be going crazy in the dugout and they tack on to their lead it's five zip he sent the first pitch over the wall must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. In now for the Reds, Will Benson. Late on that fastball. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. And a pitch. Swings and misses. That's strike two. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Next offering upstairs. And he grounds one to the right side. And that squirts through. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in, and he'll make it safely. That's a double. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Derek Shelton out of the dugout, and he will make the move. Mitch Keller won't go any further, and as he heads off, he'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Roansi Contreras gets the ball now. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it.
So the lineup flips over. Matt McClain, the next to hit for the Reds. And that one fouled off. He swings and fouls one off. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. On the ground. Tosses to first. Finally gets the first out here on the grounder. Now batting. Shortstop. Ellie. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. So here's a fun note on Ellie. He became the youngest player in high A ball to homer from both sides of the plate in the same game, and it gets better. He did it again two games later. Those are the type of games that tend to get you promoted in the minors. That's a hit into third now so runners at the corners and one out everything came together perfectly for him right there wasn't able to elevate that one but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield there's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that Spencer Steer the next to hit RBI knock for him last time now a chance to drive in another run throw to first De La Cruz gets back easily base runner with a one-way lead right there all he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move had no intent of stealing on that pitch and that's down it away righty to the plate that pitch clips the outside corner and the count one and one. First and third, one down. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone, and then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Candelario in the box again. Takes the strike. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Two on, two outs. Way inside. Straighten him up a little bit. On the ground to third. They take the force out inning over, and it could have been worse. Cincinnati plates a pair on this homer. And the lead is now 5-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And we're back. Leading Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Rowdy Telez. Telez. The wide to kick the pitch. And there's a strike on the outside corner. You know, these Pirates need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Wouldn't chase that time. Foul ball there. The pitch. 
That's inside. Ripped on a line to center. Nice grab on the run. And there's one away. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. So up next, Michael A. Taylor. Taylor, a former Gold Glove winner, 33 years old, and he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2009. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Base hit. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. One gone runner at first. And here is Leover Peguero. Gets the call. That's strike one. The pitch. Foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone. Now and now O'Neill Cruz. One for two. And a strike on the outside edge. Swing and a miss. That one at 99. And the count is 0-2. Taylor off of first with two away. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. He hits the wall and hangs on. Great catch. Oh, man. Amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the DH, Jonathan India. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Telez makes the grab, one down. Boy, that was a hanging, breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. And now the right fielder, Jake Fraley. And first offering is fouled off. And ball one. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And that one is off the wall. The throw into second, and that's a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Here's the first baseman, Christian Encarnacion Strand. That clips the corner. Runner at second here, one gone. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Mm -hmm. 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. That misses off the outside edge. And that one gets past the catcher. And on the wild pitch, he goes down to third. Well, he's got nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home all sorts of ways now. That's why, as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when they're runners on base. Runner on at third, one gone. Outside, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, now the game plan catcher. that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Tyler Stevenson now at the plate. He's already homered in this game. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Runners at the corners, one away. Last half of inning number five. Lifted in the air, right field. He's got it. Runner tags for home. He's in on the sack fly, and it's now a six-run lead. Here's the center fielder, Will Benson. Pickoff throw, Encarnacion Strand back on a dive. First pitch, and he just misses. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And now two and one after that missed inside. They get the force. That's the inning. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. We're through five. It's the Red Six, and the Pirates nothing. Back here at Great American Ballpark, now the number two hitter, Brian Reynolds. Green, back to work. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Well, it's been a struggle on offense for them in this one, so maybe that wakes them up a little bit. You know, an error can certainly give the opposing lineup something to get excited about. You got somebody on base, so we'll see if they can make something of it. So digging in, Key Brian Hayes. Key Brian Hayes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And another ball. Nobody out. Runner at first. Edge of the zone for a strike. Two and one now. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Next offering way off the plate. Stays alive. Right hander kicks deals. Got him swinging. Now 
Andrew McCutcheon will hit next. That one, a triple digits. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Reynolds, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Swings and misses. That's the second out. Well, that's the moneymaker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. That one is absolutely belted. This looks like extra bases. Reynolds around second, headed for third. Coming home. The relay to the plate. Head first slide, and he's safe. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Henry Davis, the next Pirate to hit. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And that one off the outside edge. One run across in the frame so far, and we're the top half of the sixth. That's in there, and now it's even one and one. Movement in the bullpen, Ian Jabot loosening up for manager David Bell. Mole also throwing. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck, right field. And it's off the wall. Runner comes in from second to score, and they cut the lead. It's 6-2. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Here's Rowdy Telez. Fastball in for a strike, going one. And yeah, that's outside. That one blasted deep to right, back there. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Throws to second. He pulls into second, and a run comes in to score. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. And it's scored position with two away. Michael A. Taylor getting ready to hit. Top of the zone for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Man on second, two down. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. strikes good job at damage control right there three runs on three hits an error and one man left top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth it's the red six and the pirates three bottom of the sixth inning now it's the second baseman matt mcclain and a pitch and first offering is fouled off. Well, these Reds, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. And yeah, the right-hander deals. 
Gloves it on the dive. The throw. And very nicely done for the out. Well, this is obviously a tremendous play, but for me, it starts with a well-broken-in glove. To have the confidence to go down, knowing that ball is going to be right in the pocket, so you've got a clean transfer, pop back up to the feet, and fire across the diamond. Outstanding job. Next for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. The wind and the pitch. That's the ball. That one missing inside. Good eye in that spot. The pitch. That one called a strike. Counts full three and two. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Run around at first with one gone. Now here is Spencer Steer. Fought off foul. And a pitch. That's in there. That is strike two. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. That one 95 to finish him off. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs. They kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Candelario stands in now and watches strike one. Outside low, and the count even one and one. De La Cruz off the of first with two away. Fastball for a strike. And that just misses. In the dirt, blocked. Runner holds, and it's a full count. That's too high, and it's ball four. Another walk. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. Now it's the Reds' DH. Jonathan India, one for three. That one fouled off. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Earl Hendricks. Two outs. On its way to the corner. Sawinski drifts towards it, and he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. We're through six full. It's the Reds six and the Pirates three. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Ian Jabot. Ian Jabot.
So digging in, Leover Paguero. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Paguero. The pitch. That one laced to center and a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Back to the top of the lineup. And now, O'Neill Cruz. Just missed. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Now one and one. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. And there's a ball. Jabot throws the first. Paguero back in standing. Left hand batter waits. That one fouled off two and two. The Reds leading by three here in the top half of inning number seven. And that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. And maybe they've got something going here, trying to get back into this one. Brian Reynolds digs in now. Swings and misses. Strike one. Tying run at the plate. Late swing, foul to the left. The 0-2. Ball one there. Way to lay off that pitch down. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is a big first out. Two on, one out at the play. Key Brian Hayes. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Missing inside, and it's 1-0. Swing and a miss, strike one. And another ball. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's gonna bring in some runs. The tying run at the plate. Just doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Andrew McCutcheon next to bat for the Bucks. At the belt and fires. There's a strike. That smacked on a line to center. Squeezes it. Runner tags it second. Now he launches a throw over his head. Now that, the 
New pitcher for the Reds, Buck Farmer. Andrew McCutcheon, the next Pirate to hit. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. That's in there, and that is strike one. Clearly taking all the way right there. I think he's just trying to measure up this new arm out there on the mound. Aguero at third. Cruz on at first with two down. Oh, and two now as he swings through it. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And it kicks off the base. Candelario to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. That's why you run hard 90 feet. Take nothing for granted, especially when you've got great speed. I'll take the infield knock. First and second, two outs. Now at the plate, Jack Sawinski. Fastball for a strike. Not even close there. And the count is one and one. First and second, two down. Check swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. So the tying run at second. That one missed. That's a really good take. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Carmen Majinski. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. So digging in, Jake Fraley. The right fielder. And here it comes. On the ground to the left. And it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Now he'll turn for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now there are several ways that they can get this run across. So a man aboard. And now the first baseman, Christian Encarnacion Strand. First pitch misses. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Activity in the bullpen. Ryan Barucki up and throwing. Hernandez warming up as well. That's outside. And yeah, that's ball two. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark and he scores. Big at bat to pad their lead up to three. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now 
That's a strike. One one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. Up next to Cincinnati, the center fielder. Will Benson, the next to hit for the Reds. And first offering is fouled off. Right handed reliever. No, that's a ball. One run across in the frame so far. Here, the bottom of the seventh. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. The batter, number nine. Here's the second baseman, Matt McClain. That one finds the zone. Going one. Hard hit to third. They take the force out, and that is the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 7-4 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Lucas Sims. And we all know about his slider. It's just now, filthy, man. And... One of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's the Pirates catcher now, Henry Davis. The pitch. And a foul ball. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Kicks and fires. Struck him out swinging. Had him way out front of the slur. Rowdy Telez, the next pirate to hit. Sims, a 6 2 righty. He features a slider, a four seamer, and occasionally mixes in the slur. The Pirates trailing by three, and we're at the top of the eighth. Just off the outside part of the plate. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there, and boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Here comes a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Left hand hitter waits. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And two away now. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Taylor, the next to hit, takes ball one. Okay. 
And the righty deals. That misses the zone. Ball two. Two outs, bases empty. Close one doesn't get the call. And now 3 and 0. Oh. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, big swing and a miss. Righty delivers. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Jose Hernandez. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. In now for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. And the pitch. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. That one pushed foul. And one and two. and misses it's a strikeout very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner win but two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play you don't even have to get a hit at that point you can help your team just by reaching on an error but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time steer in the box here lets that one go for a ball Rolled to Rowdy. Steps on first for the out. The third baseman, number 24, Jamer Candelario. Two outs, base is empty. Jamer Candelario, the next to hit for the Reds. On the outside corner, and it's 0-1. To the right side, Paguero tosses to first, and the Reds go one, two, three. Reds go down quietly. They hold a 7-4 lead. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Alexis Diaz. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Diaz. A very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch. And for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. 
and a pitch. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. Flails at that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Cruz stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. On the ground right side. He'll do it himself. And the Pirates with only one out left. Couple of pitches and a quick out. And he's got deception in his delivery. And it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate, even though they know what the velocity numbers are. Reynolds in the box now. No balls and a strike. The Reds trying to close out a three-run lead here at the top of the ninth. Diaz is just one strike away. And he deals. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Looked like it was a little bit up. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. On the ground, and this should do it. On the first, ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Thank you.